comes here every year. And each year he has got a beautiful woman on his arm. This year I hope it's going to be me. Hello. Well, hello. My name is Titi van Norden from Holland. My name is... I know who you are. Perhaps you would like to have a cocktail with me. Well, uh, thank you. It's a, it's a lovely invitation. Uh, but you see, I have been reading this book for hours, and I just can't tear myself away from it right now. Uh, you see, I've reached that moment where my whole world seems to exist between these two covers. I'm sure that you've had that experience before. Hmm. About those covers. I made a reservation for lunch. The name is Eglin. Yes, this way. Good afternoon, Lloyd. I'm sorry. That is good afternoon in Dutch. Hopefully, we'll both be in Dutch by this afternoon. I do not like to eat alone. Would you mind terribly? I'll have the fresh garden vegetable salad with the dressing on the side. See. Si. You know what? Uh, forget that. I'll have a cheeseburger, medium rare. You have a choice of uh, french fries or potato salad. Both. And a beer. Muy bien. I like to shop in Milan, get a tan in Barcelona, party in Mabe. What about you? back in a brief moment. Time away from you is not happy time. Cecil, could you bring that lady behind you, whatever she was drinking, and take these away? Move it. This is from uh, Senor Dixon. Oh, well, it was lovely having lunch with you. Perhaps we'll bump into each other tomorrow. You're a man who is trying to get away. That excites me. I would like to apologize. Your apology is accepted. What for? It was very presumptuous of me to uh, send over that beer. Yes, it was. Then we agree. I'm Lloyd Dixon. Evelyn Eglin. I suppose your husband is sleeping late. You could say that. Well, he'll be missing a beautiful day. Yes, he is. I'm a widow, Mr. Dixon. Ah. Well, just because the both of us are alone, does that mean that either of us have the right to invade the other's privacy? Exactly. There's nothing upsets me more than people who assume that I'm unhappy simply because I'm eating alone. My feelings precisely. Then you won't mind my invading your privacy uh, tonight for dinner? Oh, I don't think so. Oh, why the hell not? May I take that as a yes? Good. Then we have a date. A date. A date? What does one do on a date? I can't remember that far back. Well, it's now or never. It's just dinner. You don't look too bad for a broad who's about to croak. I'm sorry. Uh, 
I'm sorry that you got here before I did, but I don't wear a watch. You must always be late. No, you must have been here early. I'm punctual. Uh, How do you get along without a watch? Well, for years I was running on a schedule. My life seemed to be nothing more than a series of appointments. Then I stopped wearing my watch. And it seemed I have much more time. But I have not stopped wearing a tie. Now, which of these two do you like better? This one or this one? Definitely this one. This one. Well, shall we go? Did your wife pass away? Seven years ago. That's a long time, isn't it? You mean why haven't I remarried? Actually, no. I meant that's a long time. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. It's just that I've been asked many times, and the questions all seem to be different ways of finding out if I'm a matrimonial candidate or not. And I just assumed that, please forgive me, I did not mean to lump you into that category. Well, I can understand when you've been out with so many women. Many, uh, just a figure of speech. Rumor has it you find someone new here every year. And who would be spreading that rumor? A little bird. A little bird? A little Dutch bird. Oh, that makes sense. And how about you? You've been a widow for ten years. Uh, you must be surrounded by many men. Oh, yes, many. Uh, no one special? Oh, I'm a very fickle person. I'm not dependable. <laughs> I'm here one day and gone the next. Sounds like we're perfect for each other. I have rented a sailboat for tomorrow. Would you care to come along? You could have pick of the litter around here. Why me? Well, it's just in case I need to know what time it is. <laughs> Why the hell not? Tell me about your marriage. My wife was not the love of my life. Actually, I got married on a rebound. But I discovered as the years went by that I fell deeper and deeper in love with her. How about your husband? Oh, he was great. He was interesting. Witty, generous. He loved music and, and the theater, dancing. He loved living. You must have had some wonderful times together. Oh, boy, did we. 32 years. Oh, but they seem to go so fast. Like a moment. Wonderful moment, but... I don't believe... We've been talking for three hours. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that watch was going to come in handy. <laughs> How about spending the day with me tomorrow? I don't know. Can we decide when we get back to shore? Nope. All right. Good. Show off. What makes you think I'm not riding behind you on purpose? What makes you think I'm not riding behind you? Because it's more fun. Scoundrel. <laughs> Tease. I am not. <laughs> oh, yeah? Got your breath? to be kind of cute. You are a beautiful woman right now, tonight. 
What's the matter? Nothing. You sure? Uh-huh. 